Welcome to another MP4Nation.net video and review. Today I'm just going to quickly show you how the Nation at Midnight handles three different applications. Uh, the first being Google Maps, the second Barnes & Noble's e-reader software, the Nook, and the third is a game which is very similar to um, uh, the old Nintendo Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, uh, which I played a lot when I was a kid. Uh, now, Google Maps, I'm not going to go too much detail because I'm sure many of you used use it on your desktop. Uh, many probably many of you use it on a very regular basis. I sure do. I just want to show you that how you know nicely how nice it scrolls on this. And generally, uh, maps load up very fast. Uh, again, it the primary uh, what mainly makes how fast the maps load uh, is how good your Wi-Fi connectivity is. So in this case, it's pretty good. And you know, double tap to zoom. Uh, you can load up different layers also. So let me go. Let's go to the standard one for just uh, da, da, da. well, just clear map so you get the normal map. And uh, thankfully, Hong Kong does was street viewed or uh, photoed, so you can go to street view like this. Uh, this is something that that's available for uh, Google Maps that runs on uh, 2.1 or higher, and really loads very very fast street view. And I really like using Street View in general, but it's it's quite fun on this because it's just a nice set, you know, a seven-inch screen for Street View. And you see, it loads really, really fast, very, very smooth, very responsive to your finger. Now, I'm that's where I'm going to end it on the Google Maps. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm sure many of you will be trying that out soon enough. Well, those of you who have the midnight. And now here's uh, the Nook. It's by Barnes & Noble. It's basically their Kindle type app for Android. Uh, you basically log on, uh, make an account with Barnes & Nobles. Uh, you can then download uh, books, whichever books you want, through their ebook, whichever ebooks they have, which is uh, quite a lot. And the nice thing is that no matter uh, what device you go on, say if you go on your phone, with, uh, which has Android, and you load up the Nook on there, you'll have access to your, uh, all the books that you've purchased or downloaded, so that's uh, really, really handy. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to show you this one ebook that's already been downloaded. Uh, ebooks download under 30 seconds. It's very, very fast. And right now, I don't, I do, I do have the page animation on, so you can you know, do it all fancy for turning pages. Uh, you can bring up Change the size of the font to make it more comfortable for your eyes if you want. Uh, it's generally very responsive, you know. I mean, considering it is a resistive touchscreen and not a capacitive, uh, it generally works nicely. Let me zoom out a little so you can see it more. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're into ebook reading, uh, then you'd probably enjoy reading on this. Although it's not an e ink screen, you know, the screen is nice enough that you can comfortably read on this. I myself am not a fan of ebook reading. I like to hold my paper books and read them. So, uh, you know, I can't really honestly say I would use an app like this much. But I'm sure I'm probably in the growing minority of people who aren't into ebooks. Uh, if you actually go back to the main menu, you can change that. Uh, uh, da, 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 you can change the page turn, so you can do animate or you can just do normal sliding. Uh, so go back, and then you're sliding basically. And if you go back, it does go back to your last position that you were at. And then you can just do page turning like that or like that. And what's really nice is this top feature is that you can bookmark. There you go, just like you would a real book, and you can come back to that position uh, much later on. So it's it's not a very complicated app. There aren't a lot of options, but it does what it needs to, and that's helps you download books or purchase books off Barnes and Noble and read it on the Nationite Midnight or any other Android device that has the Nook. Uh, so that's all for that app. And oh yeah, one thing it does do it does leave the device in portrait mode. Uh, so you would actually just have to go and use a rotate screen, and it's back to normal. Now I want to show you this game. It's quite a lot of fun. I actually played a lot on my Nexus One, and uh, you know I'm pretty damn good at it. <laughs> it's Super KO Boxing, uh, and admittedly, it works well on this as long as the sound is off. 
if you have the sound on, it starts lagging. So, you know, I can't say, you know, it's, this game works magnificently on it because you're not going to be playing with sound. But then again, I frankly couldn't care if the sound was working on this game. But this is a pretty uh, good game. Uh, it certainly doesn't work on, uh, you know, the slower A pads. And this works just as well as it works on my Nexus One. Uh, except for the sound. <laughs> uh, but it's really fun to play on this 7 inch screen. It's quite responsive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, there you go. Bam! Alright, this is like the easiest guy on the... Uh, in this game, so this is not much of a challenge, but you get the idea. You know, it's a fun game. It's free to download off uh, the off marketplace, as well as you can find it on other sites. It's a very very fun game. I recommend uh, definitely downloading it if you're interested in playing or having a nice game on the Nation Night Midnight. I would definitely recommend going and downloading this game. Uh, it will probably give you, uh, you know, quite a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to make a really brief review, just show some little, some apps, and just show how well it runs on our Nation Night Midnight. Uh, so head on over to, to MP4Nation.net to uh, check this out, or head on over to our forums uh, to discuss this. Thank you.